but she was courted by every senior politician in the country and was both feared and respected in equal measure. Rebecca Brooks, the former chief executive of News International, who's at the very center of the Murdoch empire, walked free from court today after being found not guilty of all charges. So what now for the former secretary who rose to be one of the most powerful women in Britain? Our chief correspondent, Alex Thompson, has this. R&R, &R, yeah. News Corp style, Rupert and the oh, Redhead. If not Murdoch's representative on earth, Rebecca Brooks was certainly his special one for the media mogul's UK interests. And what interested Rupert was schmoozing successive prime ministers, police chiefs, high officials across the land. She saw her getting close to power as part of the job. And I think that those people at the top, whether it be Tony Blair or David Cameron or any of the other politicians, saw it as their part of the job uh, to be on side with a senior Rupert Murdoch executive or an editor. Not that Blair's spin doctors wanted it on camera, you understand. Just for a bit, thank you. Yeah, no, 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 no filming just for a bit. New government, old game. George Osborne, William Hague and Theresa May all supportive friends at various times. David Cameron himself, once an avid Rebecca Texter. Uh, um, occasion occasionally he would sign them off. Um, uh, LOL, lots of love. Actually, until I told him it meant laugh out loud, and then he didn't sign them like that anymore. What about page three? Oh, you've sto stolen my line. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I hear page three is very popular with bishops, which um, surprised me, actually. But, um, Facing parliamentary inquisition in the Lords over page three girls, she simply charmed the bishop. But when it came to the current trial, she fought from the outset. I am baffled by the decision to charge me today. Attending the long trial with her husband, both would get a taste of her own tabloid medicine. Revealed shock horror, her affair with fellow Murdoch tabloid editor and now convicted phone hacker Andy Coulson in an unsent love letter. I confide in you, I seek your advice, I love you, care about you, worry about you. We laugh and cry together. In fact, without our relationship in my life, I'm really not sure how I will cope. I'm frightened to be without you. He was convicted, she was found not guilty. A big celebration. A champagne for Rebecca tonight then, is it? This evening, a party is gathering at Rebecca Book's London home. Aids coming and going. Are you pleased with the verdict? And her friend, Jeremy Clarkson, unaccountably <laughs> silent in front of the camera. 